Friedrich Nietzsche, the master of linguistic acrobatics and philosophical wizardry, once penned an idea that encapsulates the essence of human resilience and purpose. He wrote, He who has a why to live can bear almost any how. This powerful statement, simmered down to its essence, means that if a person has a reason to live, a purpose that fuels their existence, they can endure almost any hardship, challenge, or adversity that life may throw at them. Picture this. You're knee-deep in quicksand, slowly sinking with each futile struggle. Now, imagine a branch extended towards you, offering a chance at survival. The why in Nietzsche's statement is that branch. It's the reason that prompts you to grab hold and continue fighting, no matter how bleak the situation seems. The how, on the other hand, is the quicksand. It represents the circumstances we find ourselves in, the existential muck that occasionally threatens to swallow us whole. The how can be intense. It can be unbearable pain, crushing despair, or insurmountable obstacles. Yet, Nietzsche argues, if our why is compelling enough, we can stand against the onslaught of how. This idea isn't just the usual philosophical jargon that's meant to be dissected in the safe confines of an ivory tower. It's a call to action, an encouragement to search for one's purpose. Each of us is a unique confluence of experiences, desires, and talents, and somewhere in this mix lies our why, our raison d'etre. Perhaps your why is to create art that inspires, to invent technology that changes lives, or to bring joy to those around you. Maybe it's something simpler yet equally profound, to love and be loved, to savor the small moments of bliss amid the chaos of existence. Whatever it may be, finding your why equips you with the strength to face your how. As Nietzsche's aphorism suggests, life isn't about avoiding hardships. It's about finding something worth enduring them for. Life doesn't promise smooth sailing, but if you're powered by a purpose, you can navigate even the stormiest seas. A strong why can transform the unbearable into the bearable, the impossible into the possible. Remember, Nietzsche wasn't a stranger to suffering. He battled severe health issues and faced rejection in his personal and professional life. Yet he found his why in philosophy, and that allowed him to endure his how. He didn't merely survive, he thrived, leaving behind a legacy of thought that continues to challenge and inspire. So, in the grand drama of life, let Nietzsche's words be your mantra. He who has a why to live can bear almost any how. Discover your why, embrace your how, and remember that every difficulty you face is just a plot twist that brings you closer to your own unique, captivating climax. Engage with your life, not as a passive spectator, but as an active participant. Embark on the journey to find your why. It may be long and arduous, but rest assured, it will be worth it. Because once you find your why, you'll realize that you're capable of weathering any how. As you navigate through the labyrinth of life, armed with your why, remember to enjoy the journey. After all, it's the trials and triumphs, the highs and lows, and the moments of despair and ecstasy that make the story of life worth reading, or rather, worth living.